hello leos welcome back to i enigma this is enigma i'm going to be doing your soulmate free let's see who is your soulmate when are you going to meet the one how are you going to meet this person how do they look whatever it is we're going to check and since this is a general message take what resonates and leave what does not resonate leo sun moon rising or lunar signs and cross watchers can watch the stream <clears throat> if you want more accuracy you can reach out to me on whatsapp instagram or email all the details are given down below in the description box under this video see also the white previous spells for high skill we have energized pure intention charge high vibrational quality crystals with us see your soulmate read ace of pentacles king of pentacles we have the eight of wands we have the ten of wands and we have the ten of pentacles we have the seven of wands we have the emperor Ooh, leos this came in twice um <clears throat> strength judgment two people two people here you're not able to decide which one to go for some of you i feel like you're currently with someone you have a really tough time dealing with that person they don't want to lose you you don't want to leave them but somehow there is a lot of control issues coming from the other end so you think that this is not the connection you want to stay in so you're walking away some of you are still attached to the past person some of you are still feeling lost in their love and are not able to like anyone new or trust anyone new someone rich and successful really wants your love and attention but you might be focused on someone else someone from the past maybe you were married to this person you're still married to this person this is the reason why you're not able to leave them the connection is very strong even if you guys have been living separately you're not able to trust the new person coming into your life because somewhere your heart is with the past you may not trust me right now you may not believe in it but the real reason why you're not able to take interest in someone new is because you're still somewhere stuck your heart is stuck in the past especially if you were married to this person or are married to this person or have kids so i'm seeing the new one is desperately wanting your attention love and wants to settle down with you they also have their own problems with so the ten of ones this new person may have gone through their uh, uh, rejection deception uh, unwanted quarrels uh, in their relationship in their recent relationship so they are also trying to accept the truth accept the reality and move on from it and be with a new person in their life and you are that new person you are the breath of fresh air for this person they really like you this person is very rich and successful but they know that their efforts are not being reciprocated you may not show them that you're interested in them you respect them you value them but somewhere you're just not feeling the connection there is still a distance there is still you guys are close but separated that kind of feeling they're having because you're just you know you are not rejecting this person but they feel rejected because your attention is somewhere else you could have been dealing with an aries in the past leo in the past sagittarius in the past libra in the past and the new person could be a virgo taurus capricorn or any other sign guys but what i'm seeing is the new person definitely wants your attention but you're still waiting either you expect that the past might come back and that is why you're waiting or you have lost the trust in love but someone really promising is coming i feel they are already in the in in your life and they really want you to give them a chance but you're not giving them a chance they want to settle down with you they have their own problems they want to remove those um blockages and come towards you but you are not ready to remove some blockages and go towards this person your attachment with someone from the past is still going strong and you're still trying to work the things with the past person still you're not coming out of it and let me tell you this you are dealing with someone or you were dealing with someone a, a narcissistic uh, controlling person and that was a karmic connection it is also very uh, low vibrational relationship 
you are uh, still stuck in or you were stuck in. The new person could be your soulmate. That is why it's showing up in the cards. Yes, the new person is your soulmate. And this person wants to give you their happiness, give you their money, share with you their property, their assets, everything only if you allow, guys. You need to be more available for this person because they feel you're not interested. Your heart is somewhere else. You don't want to give them a chance. So why to, you know, even try? So I feel this person is losing the confidence in themselves to win you. Someone's from LA. Someone's name is Aloha. Someone's name is Natalie, Natasha, Nelson, Armin, okay, Alana, someone's from Atlanta, Australia, Nigeria, Netherlands, Las Vegas, London, Italy, anywhere guys, America, wherever you can think of. You guys could be from anywhere. Namibia is also coming in. Latvia. Latonia. Maybe it's a name or a city. I don't remember. But yes. Yeah. So someone really wants to give you that respect and honor that you were seeking from a long time. That respect and honor is coming for you. You are going to stand strong. Okay. I'm seeing that your position is becoming more stronger with time. You are going to get more honor, respect and justice at work. I'm seeing you're going to do something big at work. Your project is shining. Your work is being appreciated. You might receive a good news. Maybe there's a hike, there's a promotion or a bigger job opportunity paying you more. So I'm seeing there is definitely a decent growth at work, money and respect and honor. Some sort of a badge of honor is coming in. I'm also seeing both of your partners, past and the new one. Both of them are very respected and highly honored people in their status. Dreams. I'm seeing you have dreams. Okay. You have a dream of a, you want to build a family. You want to have a spiritual connection with someone. That's happening. That's happening. I'm seeing you going through a healing phase. Do a lot of prayers. Whoever you believe in, just pray to God, chant those prayers many, many times. You will see the changes, positivity coming into your life. Larissa could be the name as well. Again, the badge of honor. Someone is into army, police, or some work that involves wearing a uniform, a chef, anything, but at a high position, authority is coming. Noah, Noel, these could be the name. No, I'm seeing you giving a big no a thumbs down to the past but you're still not coming out of that baggage that you've gone through i'm also hearing moolah which means money is coming i'm seeing law of attraction you strongly believe in manifesting big things in life and for that you have to get rid of the negativity that you're holding on to maybe holding on to if i'm right but yes your dreams are coming true for sure health pay attention to your health i'm seeing you could be in your health sector as well you're gonna do really well if you're in your health sector working in health sector if you're running a business in health yes release if you want to if you want to improve your health if you want to feel good about yourself you want to focus on the right thing get more success and prosperity release release whatever is hurting you you could be younger than this person that you want to release okay i'm also seeing um the new person that is coming towards you could be your classmate or this person could be your um student i don't know some sort of a age difference could be possible but there's a proposal coming in for sure red and green are your favorite colors currently for now you should wear more green or red I'm also seeing you going for a higher study or you're going through a mentorship. So you're interested in someone new, but you're afraid of taking a step forward. You need a lot of spiritual healing or guidance to really help you. See, badge of honor, respect is coming into you. Whatever you've done, I'm seeing a lot of respect is coming in. Don't worry. Bad health. See, I told you you are affecting your health some of your doctors here but you are affecting your health unnecessarily pay attention some of you may have received some minor injury or so take as much rest as you can 
yes you're thinking about the past you're thinking about someone if it's not you then both of them past and the new are thinking about you but i feel like it's you that is stuck with someone and are not able to get this person out of your head but time to move on otherwise you'll go through financial struggle as well leos okay tell me what else is coming in their love life with as with respect to your soulmate okay all right it's the cards that fell off you definitely have a true love in your destiny and this person is your soulmate okay the one that will ask you for genuinely ask you for marriage but there is someone that deceived you really badly okay and that has affected you so that you're not able to think in a positive direction but it's time that you release this person in order to think in a positive um, manner. I'm seeing you becoming more optimistic. I'm seeing you becoming more um, aware of your uh, priorities. Okay. Self-respect. I'm seeing you're going to embrace yourself. Stop thinking. Yes, you are the one that's thinking about this person. This might be a specific read. But yes, there's a lot of overthinking going on. The number four, four. This is a lot of baggage, okay? Overthinking. Come out of this overthinking period. And then I'm seeing surrender. I'm seeing you letting go in the near future, accepting what, what it is like. You're going to accept the reality now and surrendering it to the universe. Whatever has to happen, let it happen. Yes, you finally are getting rid of this stuck energy that this person had kept you with okay secretly yeah i feel like this person could be a friend right now they really admire you they may be proposing you for marriage but you have no idea this person is going to wait for you it's because they have stronger feelings that they have let you know they have very strong feelings for you goddess of the moon yes i'm also seeing you going through a cleansing of energy energy cleansing um spiritual awakening deep healing because your emotions are overwhelming right now they're overwhelming you too much so this period is tough for you but you're going through a shift as well at the same time it's not as if yes i feel like the past person is acting cold with you because they think you're desperate you're not desperate you just are too you're an old soul. You just want to stay connected with one person your whole life. And this person doesn't understand that. They just think that you're being desperate. That's not the case. You have strong emotions attached to this person. That is the reason. Talk to your angels. You will see a lot of force, which means that you're overthinking. And stop here. You will see a lot of one, which means that your life is moving ahead with a new beginning. And I'm also seeing spiritual awakening taking place. Ask your angels. You will see, as I told you, your psychic ability, your intuition is increasing and you're able to connect with your inner guide, your gut feeling telling you this, that, this is what you're supposed to do, that is what you're supposed to do. So don't ignore the signs. Some of you are going through bad health because you're stuck with the past and that's one sign that you're affecting your health. Stop it, come out of it, accept the truth and surrender. Because now that you're going to seek, now that you will be uh, experiencing is a new beginning. A lot of money coming in, success coming in, probably with the Taurus. Uh, I'm seeing love is definitely going to shine on you. And I'm seeing you will be fully um, embracing the self-love energy. You will be fully in love with yourself. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Taurus. But I'm seeing yes. You will start loving and respecting yourself with this new person. Yes, there's this finally you're going to go through a major um, breaking point. I feel like you your threshold, you've reached the threshold and now you're just getting rid of this person. You're forget, forgetting this person. You don't want to deal with them anymore. You started to hate them. This could be an Aries as well. I'm seeing there's a climax coming where you're going to completely uh, untie yourself from them. Trust. And you're, I feel like you want to feel free. You want to breathe fresh air and you're going to start from scratch. Okay. You're going to start from zero. And you know that if you fall, universe will catch you. So you're taking a leap of faith. 
What is the advice? The advice is to love again. You definitely have a soulmate coming into your life. You're going to fall in love with this person again. A new person. And I'm seeing your prayers are being answered. So keep praying. As I told you, that will keep you... Um, happy positive and hopeful that someone new someone exciting is coming into your life so your challenge is that you're not able to surrender and you have to surrender that's the way to go all right now let me see other advice okay trust in the divine detours changes are coming in on a divine level time to let go yes see i was telling you three plus one you're always thinking about someone you need to let go of this person. You will see clearly now the right and the wrong. What is there, what is not there. Okay, the truth. You'll be able to see the truth clearly. You're going to cut the cords with the past. I'm definitely seeing that. Love is all around. So you will embrace a lot of positivity from now onwards. I'm seeing everybody's coming towards you with loving energies. Helping you, wanting to help you, guide you. Yes, changes are coming in, definitely. Your person's going to love you a lot. Your lover, your soulmate. There you go. What are the most probable signs here? I'm seeing Cancer. I'm seeing uh, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Or we have Capricorn. These are the three signs. Most probable signs. And you have a message regarding your soulmate over here. How does this person feel for you? Have you met the one? This person is someone that is taking slow steps towards you. Some of you are about to meet them or have met them, but they're not pushing things. Okay, They're taking it slow. But you will see always that when this person is around you, they'll always keep a huge smile. You make them happy. They'll always show you um, that they're optimistic, that they're positive, that they're very happy in your company. This could be a Leo as well. Yeah, this person sees... Uh, the future with you they'll talk about kids with you if you guys can bear kids if you guys can are in this age group that this person is talking about marriage this person is talking about baby baby boy i'm seeing someone has a baby boy they want to want you to nourish them nurture them or have a baby with you but i'm definitely seeing this person sees you're the person that they can feel a happy fulfilled marriage with a lifelong commitment optimism full of positivity so your love for this person you you are an epitome of love and they feel happy and loved around you in your company they've had a lot of relationship offers but they reject them for you they think you're their soulmate with lovers in the sun they know that you're their soulmate because you both have gone through the similar uh, experience and that is why they know that you guys will understand each other more than anybody else this person is fond of your beauty they just don't see your beauty on the outside they feel uh, see, they see your beauty in the inside as well they find you extremely innocent naive kind loving beautiful from inside and out pure pure all right I'm also seeing they have a lot of love offers coming towards them. The Queen of Swords, they may also have the past connection trying to come back. They also have a love offer of someone very rich in their life. But all they think about is you because they rejected all of these options. They said no, no and no to these options to be with you. Okay. Gemini energy. Libra energy. This person's going to shower you with a lot of gifts. They want to be there for you. They want to change your destiny. They want to make you happy. They want to see you happy. They feel like it's their responsibility to come and change your life. And this is someone that has helped you a lot or will help you a lot in your uh, issues. People around them are mostly interested in their money, not them. Whereas you're completely opposite. That is why. Okay, any last message? Leo's. Please give me a message for Leo. Nine of Swords. There's a lot of stress you're going through. You're like, should I trust this new person? Should I not? Should I fall in love with this new person? Don't 
doubt this guys this is a soulmate bond this is actually the bond that you were seeking with the wrong person you were expecting from a wrong person so this is your read yours i hope you've enjoyed this wonderful read thank you for your time please do like share comment and subscribe and check out private reading details in the description box under this video bye